Here is the last and final video in painting a Mariposa Skies Bearded Iris. In this video, I am painting the green iris leaves and the stem. And the colors that I use to start out with are a mixture of Burnt Umber and Hooker's Green. I particularly like to use that color where for the shaded parts of the leaves, um, particularly where there's a, a portion of a leaf that's underneath another leaf um, or under a flower, basically anything that's in shade. It makes a great shading combo. Again, that's the burnt umber and the hooker's green. Um, and what I gradually do, I lay that color on usually a very thin wash over the entire leaf um, to begin with. And then I gradually start layering in uh, a hooker's green, which is more of a bright green. And that makes a great green <clears throat> for pretty much a lot of the leaves um, and stems that I paint. Um, and it's nice and bright and fresh and alive looking. And I'm going to lay that over the entire leaf. And next what I'm going to be adding is a, a medium olive green. Now that's a Liquitex um, color and it's a really sort of a bright yellowy um, green. And that shade I'm laying in where like the brightest part of the leaf would be where the sun would be hitting it or there's a bend in the leaf and it's catching the light in the strongest concentration of light. You can also add a little bit of uh, titanium white to this medium olive green to get a even larger of a highlight. So I'm starting on the stem now and it's the same exact colors. Um, the burnt umber first and definitely under the iris petal would be the darkest and it would be in shadow <clears throat> then the hooker's green um, and then the mixture of the medium olive green and lastly the medium olive green with a little bit of the titanium white just a little bit to add some highlight these leaves that are under the flower would not be as bright as the outer leaves would be so you can see I don't add a whole lot of detail them. Sometimes I use my angle brush sideways when I'm painting the stems. And sometimes the, the leaves, I just like the effect that that gives uh, a little bit. I like the texture that it adds to the leaves. So that just about completes this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching this series. Again, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I will try and answer them. Thank you so much.